Hey guys, welcome to my Monday Night Live. I just want to make sure you guys can hear me. I think everything is set up correctly. I just kind of changed some stuff around. Um, looks like we have Nancy. Hey, hey. Uh, if everybody can just say yes, you can hear me. That would be awesome. I don't want to be muted. All right, let's see. Looking at the comments, uh, nobody has said they can hear me. So maybe you guys can't. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Okay. Um, hey, hey, hello, hello, everyone. All right. So um, I just want to welcome you. Like I said, we are um, going to work on a vintage purse that I thrifted today. I actually saw it and was like, this is what we're this is what we're gonna do because I didn't know what we were gonna do. I was feeling really kind of out of it this morning. So okay, I can hear you. Hello, Sonnet. Yes, I can hear you. Perfect, perfect. Thanks, guys. Um, so yes, I woke up this morning with great intentions to just really start working on a video. Actually, last night I was gonna start working on a video and I got home from up north and Mondays have been really hard. I've been on a struggle bus every Monday, you guys. So needless to say, I was sitting here thinking and I said, thrifting always makes everything better. So I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna go for an hour. So I had to drop my daughter off at volleyball tryouts She at 9.30 and I'm like, okay, so I'm going to allot myself an hour. I went in, um, I quickly went through the whole entire store. They brought out new carts, I'm like, okay. So I picked that and I checked out and just as I was checking out, somebody said, well, they're gonna bring out more carts and I'm like, oh. So I unload it, went back in, and I got another cart full, not a full cart, but some more stuff. So one and a half carts, and I had a lot of fun, um, but I want to show you before we get started tonight, my super, like, I, this is like a little wood leg or boot. Um, I looked them up, and um, on Etsy, it was Etsy, $125 it's going for. So I'm like, Oh my gosh, so cute. But I'm keeping them for myself, I think. But I just had to show you guys um, what my favorite find was. Hey, Elissa. Um, hey, Mariah. Let's see here. Anne says, the weather didn't help today. No, and that was the thing too. I think it was the weather and I just couldn't get into, I have, just, I just couldn't get into it. So I'm um, so excited to see this. It's so cool. All right. So I, when I was walking by one of the carts, this was sitting there and what caught my eye guys was, were like the little, the top or the little clip. I'm like, oh, that's so cool. I'm like, wouldn't it be fun to kind of upcycle this? So then I'm sitting here, I'm like, oh my gosh, now I got to think of how I'm going to do it. I have to come up with an idea. I want to do it. And so what I decided, um, or I'm going to have you guys decide too, but there are two different, I want to decoupage it. Um, and there are two papers. So there's two options. So one of them that I have been like, uh, very like wanting to work with this is it's called Carmen's color swatch and it is beautiful. And I think for more of like, a, it just reminds me of like a retro look in a way, or like just fun. And then the other thought was, what about doing possibly like a uh, landscape on it on one side? I don't know. That was another idea. So uh, Nancy said, just wa finished watching the thrift haul. Yeah, awesome. Well, I'm glad that you did. Um, let's see here. I just, uh, let's Way cool boot. Looking forward to this flip. Awesome. Okay, so Kat likes the color black. What's the craziest find you have ever found? Oh, what is actually? <laughs> you guys have to tell you. So when I'm I threw this in my cart and I'm going through it like pulling. I was actually unloading it into my truck and all of a sudden I like look at the top. I don't know if you guys can see the top. And then I went. 
oh my gosh, is this a little boy's leg, like a wood leg? That's what I thought it was. So this is what I thought it was, but I think it is something to do with making a shoe. <laughs> so um, I don't know, what is the craziest thing I found? I, I don't know yet. I'm still looking at also the um, snowshoes. When I looked them up, it did say it was like a military grade snowshoe. Um, they're very cool. I just don't know if they really are yet. So I'm going to look in, look that up a little bit. Um, okay. Let's see here. Uh, so we have Kat saying the color block. We have Nancy saying the landscape. Dee saying the color block, color block. Uh, Pamela said that. Um, Molly says, just joined a newbie. Great. Well, thanks for participating. Thanks for joining. Um, it's a lot of interaction and, uh, we kind of like chat and talk about things while we craft. And tonight we are flipping a purse and we are deciding, and I love getting input from you guys. So that's what makes it so much fun. Uh, so definitely keep on giving input. The landscape would be beautiful. Uh, Joan says, hi, Sonnet. I was just watching your thrift haul when you mentioned you were going to upcycle the purse live. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I mentioned it. Um, I like the color blocks for the purse. Hi from England in the UK. Hey, Patricia. Awesome. Thanks for joining. Um, okay. So we have a landscape. Oh, Kim said hello from very stormy Illinois. I know we got, well, I don't know how severe your storms were. Um, ours weren't really severe. It was just lots of rain. Um, let's see here. We find the neatest item, you, or you find the neatest items at Goodwill. I know. So when I go, like on the bottom of this item, I just have to mention this. It has like some markings. So I typed that in and then that's when it came up and it was like, it was the exact same thing. So then I'm like, oh, thank goodness it's not a little boy's or a little, I keep saying little boy or like a little kid's leg. Okay, let's see. Um, who's the color black? Uh, who, oh, the color, the color, color black. Are you talking about Carmen's color swatch? It is Roy cycled. So it's my, the Roy cycled paper and it's available on my website. Color Black. Oh, color block. Oh, yeah, it does say color block, not black. God, you guys, I do need glasses. Like, I mean. <laughs> okay, color block. Okay, Joan, everybody's saying the color block because we we, we kind of went back and forth, guys. So we were talking about my finds, and then somebody said something about... Or the purse, and then we went and we started doing the purse, and then somebody else said something about my finds. So it was kind of back and forth, but I'm kind of like I went back and forth, and I think the landscape would be really fun, but I think the color black would be so fun too. Uh, let's see here. Stormy all day here. Must have moved from Wisconsin. Oh my gosh, yeah. It's just finally it stopped raining, you guys. So. Oh my gosh, Patricia. She says it's late here in the UK, just after midnight. And you're watching me. Oh, thank you. No, Pamela, I didn't. I didn't have time. My video would not upload. So Pamela asked, did I go back and get the platter? And I did not. I might try tomorrow. And if it's still there, then it was meant to be. Um, oh, Anne says she would have scooped the boot up too. Yes, I think it's so cool. Um, hey, Susan. All right. So, all right. Like a lot of hellos. I'm so glad that you guys are all joining me. All right. Let's go ahead and I'm going to flip the camera around and we will take a peek at the purse. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome, Stephanie. Yes, that is so true. Sonnet really wants to use the color swatch paper on something. Yes, 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 yes. I do. I do. And I think I, I think this would be the perfect opportunity. I well, I just want to show you guys the paper. Hey Erica. So then you guys might feel differently about it. Because honestly, a couple things. So let we'll look at this the landscape first. 
I think the landscape might be a little big. I grabbed it because I thought it'd be kind of fun. But I mean, you're going to get like that piece of it. So it's not going to be like the full, not the full landscape. But I think that that if it was in a smaller version, it would look very cool. So now I'm going to show you the, the uh, color swatch. I just think this is so beautiful, you guys. I don't know. And I've been like trying to think of a way to use it. I, ever since I received it, I'm like, how can I use this? How can I use this? And I'm like, here, I'm going to move the camera a little bit like there. But I just could not figure it out. So and I'm like, when I was looking at all the papers and then I looked at this and I'm like, oh, this would be really kind of fun to do that on. So. Uh, Vicki, I did not. Vicki says, I want to know if you went back and got the McCoy platter. I didn't. So everybody, it's, it's fair game, fair game. Um, but yeah, so that's what I think we're going to do. We're going to use this on here. And what we'll do is we'll just take half of it and we'll use it on one side and then we'll do the other half on the other. Uh, Joan says, our storms here in Kenosha are finally slowing down. I was afraid my power would go out while I, I was watching your live. Oh, no. All right. Well, let's get started um, and we can keep chatting. Oh, okay. Diagonally. I never thought about doing a diagonally. Yeah, we can. I, let's get painting first because you guys know how long this painting part takes. Um, all right. I'm going to move that over so I can see. All right. Okay. So what I'm using and the reason I'm painting it is I want the colors to be really vibrant off of here. So I'm going to paint it the white. Oh dear. I didn't want to paint that white though. So I'm going to get in there and I'm using the brush called the perfectionist, which is definitely like been my go-to. Um, it really get, it is really, um, I love the tip on it. It really gets into all the details. So let me see here. All right. Let me just get around here and then wait, I'll continue to talk. <laughs> you know how I am. I just want to get into all of that detail. Wow, even just painting this white makes it look so pretty. I love it. Okay, so let's see here. I just wanted to see if I missed anything while I was starting to paint here. I don't think so. How was the fishing weekend? It was uh, very, very busy. We hosted at our cabin. Um, we hosted roughly 25-ish people approximately. And uh, it is... My husband is the vice president of the Muskie Club. So he, so we hosted at our cabin. And normally it's earlier in the season, but with my daughter's volleyball and like all the sports things that are going on, or softball, I should say, not volleyball. Now it's volleyball, you guys. But um, we, uh, we had to, we normally do it in June. And so it had to be pushed back to August this year. So it was, it's a lot. We cook, we host. Yeah, I was, that's why I was really tired today too. Because it's a lot of entertaining and I was cleaning, doing dishes, you know, all that good, good stuff. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, so let's see. Molly says, I apologize. I missed the introduction. I'm not sure what the process is. Did you sew the purse and now painting it? So um, I thrifted this purse today while I was um, out and about uh, on one of my thrifting missions. I thrifted it and I thrifted it because I decided I wanted to upcycle this and um, do something fun. And so I, I like to do that on our lives is I, I like to upcycle different things. Um, I looked at your brushes today at the GOAT. Are you going to be making color samples on the three in one paint at your booth? I really want to see what color crockery looks like. Um, yes, I am making, I actually am making color samples. I just have with, um, everything going on, I did not get them there. So I actually have them started. <laughs> They're just not there. So I apologize, Anne. Is there any chance of the paint cracking at the folds? Um, I don't, I mean, I don't know the, the purse. Well, um, it says it's not going to, it really, I don't know if it's really going to crack because it, it has very little movement, I guess. So, um, I don't know. I have never, um, done this with, uh, on a vintage purse yet, but it, there's always, this is always the first. But I don't think so. I don't think it's going to crack. I think it's going to, um, because there's not really any major folds. I'm just trying to get in on these sides. Though The sides are a little bit difficult, guys. I just will be totally honest. So even when... When I go to decoupage it, I think it might be a little bit difficult on the very sides like this. Okay. All right. Um, I am using DIYs uh, paint and um, Molly said that she typically sews purses. So that's awesome. Yeah, I'm just trying a technique because this was tossed to um, the thrift store and I saw it and I am just trying to rescue it and give it new life. And so that's what we're doing tonight. All right, I am just going to get it right up in there. And hold on. Let's see. And then up in here. Okay. Perfect. All right. Let's see here. Um, I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Are the handles leather? Um, no, I think that they're just, you know, that old type of vinyl. So after we do the purse, I was thinking we could probably do something with the trim and the handles. Um, I was thinking the trim, wouldn't it be kind of fun to do um, that? Oh gosh. Now do I have it here? I don't have it here. It's in a tube. It's like a gilding wax. Um, I'm trying to think of what somebody, somebody think for me. <laughs> Having a rough day guys. Um, so I was thinking that would be kind of fun on the hand or on the metal and I used it on what I'm talking about. I used it on my buffet. Rub and buff. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I knew you guys would come through for me. Rub and buff. That's exactly it. So I thought that would be kind of fun on the metal and give it a little bit of an update. I love that rub and buff. And, okay, so I think what you were saying, like, on the, right here, I don't, about the cracking, like, right on the edges there, I don't, I don't know. Okay, let's see here. 
Um, how about turquoise? Yes. Oh my gosh. Uh, you must be reading my mind. <laughs> or did you see it over there? I have two different color turquoises. Um, you should say, let's see, you should sail your rolling pins to children so they can use them for their Play-Doh. Oh yeah. That would be a good idea too. Since I have a slight obsession with um, my my rolling pins, every time I see one, I buy them. Every time, I don't know. I save them though, because I don't know what would happen. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yep. Um, Okay. All right. One side is done. Now that I will get the other side done and then we will try to dry it and get going. Rub it and buff. Yep. Oh, she's not giving up those pin the pins, ladies. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. I. I have a lot of them, but I love upcycling them and I love trying different things. Um, I know. So what was uh, your favorite items today, guys? If you watched my um, my video from my um, my haul, you know, well, you guys know my favorite is the wood, the wood foot, but I really, well, I really did like, um, I just rubbed that. Um, I really did also like those snowshoes. Those are pretty cool. Yeah, Stephanie, the, um, the paper will be over it so the cracks won't show. So, and I'm gonna really try to get the paper like in there's a lot of detail on this purse, so I'm gonna try to get the paper really embedded. This actually might be a little bit harder than what I had thought, but that's okay. That is okay. It's always a good learning experience, right? Susan said, the snowshoes are pretty awesome. Thank you. I know. I loved them. And Nancy said, the enamelware. Oh, yeah, because you guys, it matches that other enamelware pot that I recently thrifted, too. I was super excited about that when I found that. Oh, I have to grab this, and I want to talk to you guys. Now, where did I set it? <laughs> I don't even know where I set it. I literally, like, got done doing my video, and then, oh, here it is. I'm going to set this up here so you guys can see it. Okay, right there. Do you guys think this is enamelware too? This was my, okay, that was probably my second favorite find because I love this color green. Um, but I, what I noticed is that I thought it was black around the edges, but it's actually blue. So the roaster is, it was such a great color, almost too good to cook it, a turkey in. <laughs> Oh, it's a roaster. That's what it is. So I'm sure some of you um, already told me that on my video. Um, Joan said, is there a price range? Ugh, yeah, but they were one at five. Five to seven dollars is too much because by, by the time you like do something to them, um, like the rolling pins that I got today were like a, probably a dollar. So, yeah, that's probably a lot. Okay, so Nancy says that this does look like enamelware. Um, I love doing old purses. I made Halloween floral displays in mine and pour painted the pour painting the outside of the purses. I also did my wallet, and seven years later, it still holds up, and and I'm using it. Awesome! That's cool. I don't know. I, like I said, I just wanted to try something a little different tonight. 
Yeah, okay. I always get really quiet when I'm concentrating, guys, when I'm trying to do a, a straight line. Yeah, so this was like another really one of my fun finds. Vicki says, I have a rolling pin obsession. Just painted the handles of some navy and plan to roll on some sweat sweater weather. Oh, Debbie says, hello, I forgot it was Monday. It is Monday. I, oh, you must forget, get lost in the days too. Oh my, I got paint on this one from my hand. Thank goodness it will come off. All right, let me get in here. Okay, let me just get this up in here. And then I'm gonna then we can start drying it and then we can start decoupaging it. Okay. Ooh, I like it. I like it already. Molly says, I paint shells white, then use tear. Oh, you use the napkins with pretty prints to decoupage. That's a really good idea, too. Um, I know. I was hoping to find some different napkins, too, to try that with. <clears throat> there were, I don't know if any of you had heard about this, but there was one... Um, I saw it on uh, like a page that um, a, a, a vendor booth page that um, a lady had ordered off of Etsy. She ordered some, I think it was Etsy, some um, napkins and she was decoupaging and she was reselling like her, that's what she was buying them for to resell um, on, and she got in trouble from the lady on Etsy. Um, said no, you're not supposed. You're supposed to use them as napkins, not to, um, not for like resale purposes like that, for projects. So I thought that was kind of yucky. So I guess what I'm trying to say is just make sure wh wherever you're getting your napkins from, if you're reselling, just to be a little careful. Perfect. Okay. All right, guys. We got it done. We got the one coat of paint. Oh, I missed the little window that shows your face so we can see when you're um see you when you're talking. Um oh yeah, jo Molly, seriously, that it is awful. Um Let's see. Oh, Stephanie said, this is a good way to recuperate from a bad cold I caught up on at Alumni Weekend. Oh. Um, Sonnet, have you finished all your work? <laughs> uh, did you notice by my laugh? No, I haven't. <laughs> okay. No, I haven't. I left a lot of unfinished projects here. Um, over the weekend while I headed up north, I have a lot. So tomorrow I am going to be working on, during the daytime, I'll be working on my barn, uh, the trees, the Christmas trees. And I'm still drawing the barn quilts. So as soon as I finish drawing them, then I start painting. So it's a process. Here, what we'll do while I am letting this dry, because Joan says she misses my um, face. Let me, oh, where, oh gosh, okay. That my mouse always falls asleep, you guys. Okay, oh, I was like, do I have paint in my hair? <laughs> Knowing my luck today, I'd have paint in my hair. So we will um, we will just keep on drying this baby and continue to chat. But um, 
I know I did that. And then um, that lady said that she didn't like it, that I did that. And then now I could never figure out how to do it again. <laughs> so I'm going to play around with it. I did it the one time. It can't be that hard. I, I thought I had mastered it or figured it out. almost dry. Oh, Vicki says, I'm a little jealous of you ladies that can cut your own wood. I want to do that eventually, but first I want to get a paint line. So I do have to tell you guys, and I, I will never speak, uh, tell names or anything like that, but um, I did have a viewer and she was so excited to try to cut her own wood. And I always like uh, whenever I would show myself cutting my wood, I would always talk about being very safe and always like when you are cutting your wood down, always know where all your fingers are. Make sure you're back. I mean, there's just certain things that you always watch for. <laughs> Unfortunately, there was a couple things that happened with her. Um, my saw also has a guard on it, so it, it really protects it, like the spinning blade. There's a guard that goes all the way around. Um, hers did not have the guard. She um, went to cut a board, and I don't know. I think what a lot of people do is when they hold their board, they don't hold it back enough. They, like, get it too close, and she sawed her thumb off. And oh my gosh, when she, cause I didn't, she was like, gosh, every, like every video I did, you guys, she would comment and I'm like, well, where'd she go? And here, then she reached out to me. She's like, I am so sorry. I haven't been on lately, but I cut my thumb off and they reattached it. And so I'm like, oh my gosh. So I always preach definitely be extremely safe. So. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. She just thought Sonic got glasses and doesn't want to see her in them. That's funny. Yes. No. No, that's funny. Yes. So I just have to tell you guys that story because I don't want any of you to do any of those things. Just make sure that you practice safety. And always wear glasses, like safety glasses, too, because chunks of wood can fly out and hit you, and you could lose an eye. All right, let me look here. Let me look. Oh, that's a really good. Um, Miles said, never put your fingers closer than four inches to the blade. That is absolutely correct. Um but I, I didn't try to tell you guys the story to scare you. I told you so you'd be careful. Very, very careful. But that's a great tip that Miles said. Never put your fingers closer than four inches to the blade. <clears throat> All right. You guys, you guys. Um, what kind of material is this? Well, I once, it's more, I would say it's wicker. I wouldn't say it's fabric and it's not straw either. It's like faux, like maybe like a faux leather. It's hard or so, um, but that's what it's made out of. All right. So now I'm going to move this green plat pla or my green um, roaster. <laughs> we'll put her back. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have to clean this room. All right, uh, let's see here. Stephanie says, my grandpa taught me how to use power tools safely at a very young age. I love him for that. Yes, that's a good, good thing. Um, Pamela asked how my blue jean jackets turned out when I washed them. The, um, some of, so the, the one that I did with White Swan and the paint inlay, that um, held up the best, but it, a lot of it like washed out. Uh, and then 
Um, the other one that I used with the Mod Podge completely washed out. So I we're, I'm redoing it. I just haven't had a chance yet because I have to buy a medium that a fabric medium to put in with the paint if, when I do it. So I'm going to do that next time. Let's see here. Um, I'm just trying to see here. Perhaps aluminum. I, okay, so courtesy of my workshop teacher, Mr. Russell, circa 1969. Aw. Joan said, oh my gosh, that is scary. I'm glad the doctors could put it back on. That's amazing. Next time I use my saw, this story will remind me to be careful. Yes, absolutely. Everybody should be very, very careful. I think about it every time I use my saw. So I'm like, you know, because sometimes too, like after you saw and you saw, and I'm like, I'm sawing and sawing. Like if you guys knew, like when I cut, um, like even for my barn quilts, I mean, hundreds and hundreds of cuts and my, for my, even my trees. And sometimes, you know, you're sawing. So you, you kind of get into a rhythm and um, so I'm always aware. Okay. So Vicki says, I'm not a good gold fan, like not at all. So I got my rub and buff in silver pewter and ebony. <laughs> I'm working on a giant pair of candlesticks. I painted vintage pink with some marquee and currently adding silver rub and buff. Ooh, that sounds fun. Hey, Robin. All right. Okay, guys. Well, now that you saw my face for a little bit while this was drying, let's flip back over and let's start doing the decoupage. So let's see here. Okay. So we have the purse. Totally painted. It looks like it has. All right. I am actually I'm thinking, I'm trying to think of how much overhang I want. Okay, I'm just going to go like that. Okay. Perfect. It's as perfect as as it can be, right? Right. All right. Oh, the paint and lace would be beautiful on here, D. Yes. Oh. Um that's okay. All right. I got a little paint on here. I don't know how I did that. All right, so we are using liquid patina and let's see here. Let's see, um, Meg says, I just quickly watched your thrift haul video and that popcorn popper is really cool. Oh, thanks. So it is a popcorn popper then. It looked like it, you guys. Oh, I have it here too. I'll show you guys this as well. This is the other thing, the popcorn popper. <laughs> It's like on a, I thought that was cool. It looks like they put this, I don't, oh, there. I don't know what, it just must have been a decoration. But yes, I love it too. I saw it right and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so neat. Okay, now I'm trying to get this open. What are you going to do with the bottom? I'm going to paint the bottom. So the bottom is like that color and I, I got a little white paint on it. But whatever color I paint the handles, I definitely want to paint the bottom the same color. Okay. I think I must have not wiped the edges when I put this back on, you guys. It's rock hard. I might have to get the new one out. Hold on. I would put whip pieces on bottom of her so it can sit up as a as a decor. As decor. Oh. Let's see. I'm just trying to get this done first here. Sorry, guys. Here's a tip. I, if I want to loosen it, I just put my scissors like around the edge. All right. Oh, okay. So let's see here. Fallen says I would put, oh, Fallen said that she would put wood pieces on the bottom of the purse so it can sit up as a as decor. And Dee says cowgirl coral. I think, Dee, you like cargo coral a lot, don't you? <laughs> Let's see. 
we are going to start um, here and we're just going to work our way. Okay, that will be perfect. Uh, Stephanie says, I wasn't a fan of the color swatch paper at first, but I do have to say it's going to look really nice on the purse. I think it's going to, too, you guys. I really do. All right, so let's start by adding like a bit of a starter strip here. And we're just going to try to work our way. Let me just... I'm going to make sure I have enough over. I get nervous because I want to make sure I have enough on each side here. <laughs> okay, get in the grooves here. All right. Okay, so we're going to see how this goes. Even if it doesn't work out, what did the first cost me? Not much, right, guys? But I think it's going to look really cool. Okay, let's see here. Um, after, let's see here. Actually, looking at it again, it might be a coal warmer, maybe. Okay. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Find this a bit. Okay, let's see. I think this might be it's like almost like a two-parter. Like I might have to get a portion of this laid down and then go around. We'll see. Oh, I'm liking this though. I really am. I think this is going to look really good. Okay. All right. Am I missing any comments? I'm sorry here. D says, yes, anything cowgirl coral? I'm in Arizona. Awesome. Uh, I have a couple bed warmers, but mine are solid at the bottom. For hot coals or hot rocks. Okay. Uh, it's not an even surface, so wrinkles should be kind of hidden, right? Yeah, it totally, the wrinkles are going to be totally hidden because it's not, it is like, um, there's lots of texture. So I don't think we're going to have a problem with any of that. And I think what I'm going to do, all right. Yeah, so there should be, there's really not any type, because the wrinkles look like they're all part of it. Well, the wrinkles, you know what I mean? The Okay, I think, where's my, my exacto knife? Oh boy, because I cleaned, I cleaned up a bit. I had my live in here today. So, all right, so what I'm going to do is just try to. cut right along that edge so that it 
so we can start fitting it all together. That was a that was not totally cut through. Okay. So when you do this, just make sure you're all the way cut through before you pull because I kind of have to fix that little area. Okay. Okay. All right, so let me get this all worked in. Okay, so that looks good. Okay. Now I'm going to work on over here. Let's see, am I missing anything? <laughs> uh, um, let's see here. I don't think I'm missing anything. Not yet, anyway. Let me, I'm just gonna go around the, uh, oh, here you guys, look at. It kind of went up here a little bit too much, but I'm gonna. Okay. I just wanted to try to cut away. Hold on. I'm not ignoring you guys. I'm just trying to concentrate here. Okay, so that looks good. All right, and I'm just going to trim. Just so I can see a little bit here. All right, so basically what I did is I went around the very edge there. And now we're gonna do around the edge this way. Okay, <laughs> I have to hold my tongue a certain way in my mouth to cut things, LOL. That's funny. That is awesome. Well, okay. Oh, I just, the paper, I should have probably did that maybe before it, um, Got some decoupage the, or the liquid patina on it because sometimes it can tear a little bit, but I was just trying to that looks okay. Uh oh, okay. Bear with me. I'm sorry, guys. There. This isn't totally perfect, but we're painting the bottom so we can blend that up too. Okay. So that looks pretty good. I like it so far. What are you guys thinking? We got one side done. Hey, Lisa. Um, do you have a Facebook share group? I'll out the candlesticks there, finish them. Um, yes, there is a Facebook share group. Um, I don't, oh my gosh, I thought I lost my, I was looking at that and I'm like, oh my gosh, I lost it. Um, it is, I can post the link when I'm done. Uh, 
Um, I should actually always just have it on there, but it's like Sonnet's Garden Blooms something. Oh, perfect. Okay, so I'm just going to cut that. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. Okay, so I've, you're almost, you're, you're brave cutting wet paper. Actually, this part is not, this part was a little wet, and that's why it kind of had some oopsies there that I might have to fix. But right here, it's, it's pretty dry, actually. It was up in the middle that it was wet. So... I just want to kind of get it okay and then this is the part where it's going to be tricky all right let me cut away the excess here. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's 51. It's 651. So this is, this is kind of a, oh. All right, so what I want to do right around this is I kind of want to fit this in and then cut around this metal piece here. So that, okay. There. So we have the top and the bottom done. Now we're going to start working on the sides. Um, Vicki says the creative outlet group. Yes, I think that, yes, it's on its creative outlet group. <coughs> <Got you. coughs> it went down the wrong tube. <coughs> All right, so I am going to do like halfway, I think. Maybe I should have cut it. I just want to right on that seam and then start working my way up. Um, I just don't know. <clears throat> So we're going to seam it up right there. We're going to tuck it into that seam. And we're going <clears> to, <throat> it's kind of like sewing, I guess, guys, is a good way to put this. I just want to get this little spot down here. And then I feel like my little X-Acto knife, I've been using it a lot lately. I feel like it's not as sharp as it should be. All right, so what we'll do is we're gonna finish this area and then we're gonna work our way around. Okay, so we got that. Oh, I actually am really liking this, guys. 
I think that looks really good. Okay, let's see if I can get this now. This is the part that's kind of making me a little bit nervous because of... Okay. So I think I should have actually not cut where I cut, but... We're going to cut like this. We're going to try to. I think I'm going to have to put a little piece there and splice that in. We might have to let that dry a bit there. I think we're gonna have to let that dry like that. And I think at this point, um, let's see what time it is. It's 6.56. I'm gonna try to finish this portion and then we'll have half of the purse done and then we can, then I will, we can talk about if we're going to finish it uh, together or if I'm going to finish it. I think we should finish it together, but that's my own personal opinion. Okay. Let's start on the bottom here. Off. Oh, together. Hey, mom. My mom's on, guys. Okay, that's a little wet there, so I'm not going to take that off just yet, but I am going to um, do the decoupaging here. I was just seeing if I missed anything. Hopefully that works. I have to touch, I think, that part up a little bit right there. All right, I'm going to leave it as is at this point because it needs to dry. But this is how far we have gotten at this point. I do need to take off this little piece down here, finish that, and do this side a little bit better. But overall, you guys, I, I am really liking the look of it. Um, okay, let me go ahead. I'm just going to put the top on this and put this in a baggie here. 
and then I'm going to flip it up. Oh my lord. Okay, where? Oh, my mouse fell asleep again. Okay, here I am. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we have two togethers. Um, oh my gosh. Mama, Mama Pajama says, bless, bless you for even attempting this live. I cannot even hear others around me when I create, much less stop to read comments. It was a little difficult tonight, but I'm really liking how this is turning out, you guys. I really am. I'm thinking, this is really cool. I love it. So I just need those edges to dry. I get a little nervous with wet decoupage and yeah, it'll be good. Um, I just need to trim it up a little bit in there. And so as long as they dry, so, um, it's going to look like a piece of art when it's finished. I hope so. Yeah. Thank you. Christine says she loves it. I would love to see the finished product. Yeah. So we're going to finish this Wednesday morning, you guys. So when, um, at 10 o'clock, when we do, we start the live, I will have this side done and then we'll start the other side and we'll finish it together. Or maybe I will have the other side partly done or something, and then we'll finish the handles. But we will definitely finish it on Wednesday together. I think I need to get some rub and buff, though, maybe for the metal. And then we'll paint the straps in the bottom and do all kinds of stuff. So um, let's see here. Uh, I would love, okay, let's see. I love it. Looks great. Um, can't wait. That hour went by so fast. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, I have so much time. And then all of a sudden I'm like, it's, uh, then when I looked at the clock and I was like, oh my gosh, the time is up. So, all right. Well, then that is the plan. I'm going to let this dry tomorrow. I will finish this side. I will probably get the rest of the other side done so that it's totally dry and we can work it all out then Wednesday and we'll work out all the details and you guys can see it. I am loving I'm glad that my vision is uh, coming um, to fruition here. I like it. Uh, let's see here. I'll have to watch the replay on Wednesday. Oh, I'm sorry, Joan. Yes, watch the replay and let me know what you think. But all right, guys. So it's been an hour. Um, today has been like a blur. So I will see you guys Wednesday for my live. And then on Friday, I am going to do a thrift to treasure. So I'll be taking items and flipping them. So, all right. Well, you guys have yourselves a great weekend and we will see you Wednesday. Bye.